Now Jordan. he comes out. Jerome knows it's there's a ball screen and a slip. A nice stuff by Jerome. One minute to go. Timeout. Vanderbilt. Richmond with three timeouts, Vandy with two. See the team fouls nine and eight, respectively. Possession arrow favors the Commodores. 58.9 seconds to go. And the 12 seed leads the five. Five has the ball. Thing now is you, you know what they've been trying to run now, Vandy. They like to run the baseline bumps. But they also like a ball screen, and then they like the high low to get Azili the ball. Now, I think the big thing is any penetration by Taylor or Tinsley to get them an open look. There's the baseline rubs. Ten on the shot clock. Tinsley. Pretty. What a whip pass. Oh, no. <laughs> Is he amazing, Garrett? He thought that was clean as well. I didn't have a good angle to see it, but his anticipation to help his teammates. Yeah, he went right yeah, across the shoulder. With <laughs> sure did. He is in a live body. And so Goldburn goes to the line. There's the foul. That's the fourth on Garrett. Goldburn is one of four at the free throw line. There you go. Huge. Love to see kids do that, don't you? Yeah. Young man from Brooklyn, lettered for three years in high school on the tennis team. He was a six foot six inch ball boy at the U.S. tennis championships. That one looked ugly. How about that Az save? Azili and Harper hauls it down. They will use it now. Times their, their pal. And they're good late in the shot clock. And remember, you mentioned the offensive rebounding. This team on a long jumper gets it. They'll go to work now. Oh, what a screen set by Jerome. Anderson, two more. Timeout, Richmond. Woo. This kid continues to amaze. He puts you on a string, creates a little space and time. Some early, it's K.A. Scintillating. Richmond leads by three. We've got... 18.7 remaining in the ball game. And uh, take a look at the Richmond huddle. And Anderson shot worth another visit. Uh, he just creates havoc on ball screens because they switch big to him. And he's got a great sense of distance. What he can do, the time he has, and a little fade back gets it over the outstretched hand. Now you counter that on the other end. What does Vandy do? They use dribble drive earlier on Tinsley to be creative. They ran a baseline rub, and we're going to take a look at it make sure the time is correct. I'm assuming, or I, it, it should be a timing question. So the three officials gathered over at the uh, scorer's table. Uh, uh, I guess they're talking about the, uh, the game clock at this point. Uh, we lost it. There is 18-7. Yep. 18-7. Yeah, they right. No, they gave him two, no, they gave him two tenths. Yeah. 18-9. 9 But the big thing, too, Vern, is, you, is you, you're thinking on a drive, if the defense collapses against the penetration of a Tinsley, the kick. And that's when you might go for the... I think you go for two, get your defense set, get organized, try for a good steal. If you don't get it, stretch this game out. And of course, Richmond then on the inbounds wants to get it to a terrific free throw shooter. And a guy like Kevin Ayers is over 70. Uh, let's check the five on the floor now with uh, a little over 18 to go. Tinsley, Jenkins, who's four of six from three today. Taylor, Azili, and Goldberg. And for Richmond, you've got uh, Kevin Smith, Anderson, Garrett, Harper, and Martell. And the three guys with the bounce are Jenkins, Tinsley, and Jeffrey Taylor. Jenkins picked up by Anderson. High screen. Azili. Switch. Garrett. They kick it back outside. Tinsley. Inside. Goldberg. Taken away by Garrett. And he's fouled. Who else? 
the mountain on the defensive end always in the right spot hasn't he been extraordinary Vern? yes oh usually it's a block shot but here looking to pick up the charge gets his hand or it gets in the middle of the lane after the terrific defensive stop by martell timeout, timeout called by vanderbilt Richmond, two timeouts, double bonus for Vanderbilt. They do have an arrow, and uh, as good as Darius Garrett has played today, he has been brilliant. He's not a good free throw shooter. For the season, he's only been to the line. This will be his 50th time, and he hits 51%. This and both, will be his first attempt today. And both teams have to know that and be prepared. And he's, It's a one and one. In the hands of Azili, who's fouled by Harper. Yeah, that was the, the, the plan from the side. It sure was. Yeah. Just that see, was pretty obvious. Yeah. He didn't want them dribbling, speed dribbling. They got a few guys who get up the floor, and Jenkins, Taylor, and Tinsley. Oh, put the pressure on the big guy, huh? 65%. They are in the double bonus. He shoots two. Timeout called by Richmond. 4.7 remaining. Kevin Stallings coaching his team. Vanderbilt bench. Vandy, one timeout left now. And a three-point margin with 4.7 to go. And Azili, who has hit four of eight, will be at the line. You taught to squeeze if you're Richmond now. Step in front, don't let anybody get in the lane. Azili shoots two. Mm -hmm. Second one is the key one. Now it's key. As long as he made it. Curious to see if it's fine. Yeah, they missed it on purpose. Yes, yeah. they did. Yeah. Yes, they did. Yeah, and a you, foul call. You, you, you shoot the normal shot on that, though, Vernon. You aim on the left or the right side of the rim. I mean, that harsh delivery doesn't give anybody a chance to get the rebound. No. But, you know, it's not practiced enough. That's the 10th team foul. Anderson will get a pair. 0 for 1 today. Ooh. He's 0 for 2. Vanderbilt has a chance. I think if the, he makes it, I just thought Kevin said he's going to call timeout. Rattled that one home. Chris got Mooney the calls out. timeout. Yeah. Three-point margin, 3.4 remaining. And over the season, Vanderbilt 37% from three-point range. They're at 50 today, 6 of 12. And again, Kevin Stallings coaching his bunch. Okay, give me some strategy. Well, well here, here's the big thing. You know, the, 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 when do you foul if you're going to foul? I, I think you play honest in the backcourt here. And if they get over the timeline quickly, you just want anybody behind you on a, like a step and go. It looks like they're playing some free safeties here. They're keeping everybody in front, which is smart by Richmond. Tinsley. They got the timeout, the one left. Nice yes. play. Taylor calls time. Whew. Something. 2.5 to go, Bill. You notice something in the huddle at Vanderbilt. Yeah, it looks like he's putting all scores in and maybe a screener, Odom, coming in who can shoot the ball. Now, this is the big decision now. I've seen it all year long. Guys making the three to tie the game at the end. A lot of coaches are convinced that they will not do it. Uh, but I, I think at this point, put it, get it inbound. Make sure you don't foul him on the shooting right, stroke. Right, of course. That, that is the key. 
uh, concern right now. And if anything, big on the ball, force it back if you can. It's a two dribble situation, 2.5. There's plenty of time to get it and, and put it down. And I would think something going across the top and running towards the basketball, which is right in front of us. So they're just checking the clock again to make sure they give enough time uh, to Vandy. That's a scene we see a lot of. Huh? I was, I was and, and, and don't particularly enjoy. Yeah, you know, well, that was a little late. I, I, I think they should put some more time on. Uh, it, the clock may not have started at the right time. Put some advertising on the back of those jerseys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the silks they do it. March Madness <laughs> becomes NASCAR. <laughs> well, I think you're right. Uh, they, they, they may get a couple of tips. Well, they, this is a. a, a a situation where all coaches work on the end practice frequently that these put X amount of time up on the clock and you're down, you're up, or, you know, you're, what are we going to do? They let the kids make the decisions a lot of times. And let's see right here. This is Kent, Jeffrey Taylor. Three point, but didn't start right away. I think it's over three, though, don't you, maybe? I do. The minute he made the catch, and it happened right in front of us, let's see. he said, time, 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 time. See him? Yeah, so it's literally three, one, or two. I mean, that's a big difference. You bet. 2.8. Wow, that's the decision. Let's see what they put um, defensively on the basketball to take away some vision. Rod Odom is in, and Walker's taking the ball out. Andre Walker will take it out right in front of us. And if you're Richmond, you want him to go backwards and watch the little curl to the right corner. Two point eight. They didn't step back to the ball. The jump. It's not good. The game is over. Richmond has won it.